Let's talk big picture stuff. Where do you see the investment migration industry five years down the road? I think in five years we will have a lot more programs still, or active programs. You know, probably know there are about 80 countries around the world that have some sort of program. Of course, most of them are not very active. I think we will see more. Currently, there are about 30. Um, so there will be more. There will be more regulation, no question. So I think both on the state side, um, countries will have improved procedures uh, and measures to manage this more reg in a more regulated way, including more due diligence. A little bit like if you look at what now Malta does, um, that's currently the gold standard. I think you will see more countries looking at that. We also see countries observing this and, for instance, going to Malta and studying their system, a system notabene which we developed, you know, and so we're very proud of that, of course. Um, and so this gold standard that is currently the gold standard will probably be the norm in five years' time. And also I think politically and from a society point of view it will be much more accepted. Um, because already now, if you look at actually how citizenship is lived in practice, it's a very much non-political uh, citizenship for most people. Um, that means mostly what people are interested in is what do I get and what do I pay? They're less interested in all the political rights. Yes, of course, with big questions like Brexit, people go to vote, of course. But basically people are mostly interested what do I pay to the state, taxes, things like that, and what do I get from the state, social security and health care and so on. And if you look at it this way, actually the concept of citizenship by investment, also residence by investment, that you let in well-qualified foreigners to your society, that contribute to your society, is not a far-fetched thought. And I think that in five years' time, this will be much more accepted maybe than it is now. Where do you see yourself five years down the road? <laughs> it's interesting you say, I have many different interests, I don't know how well you know me, um, but it's true, you know, my current, my public uh, image is that, of course, I'm heading this uh, interesting company, which uh, is a lot of fun, very interesting to deal with all these uh, political questions, changing the face of citizenship globally, that's very exciting. Uh, it's also very demanding um, and I think it's a, not a secret that you know, we're planning to um, change the leadership at some point at Handling Partners. I, I think maybe uh, later this year you know, we'll have a new CEO or next year this is in the planning. Um, so I do intend to stay, uh, to take a step back at some point and stay probably in the field but I'm also interested a lot in on one hand the academic side and policy side of these uh, things we're doing and concepts of citizenship, how this evolves and I intend to do a little bit more again in that field and I'm also very interested in, in the people like refugees, displaced persons that exactly do not benefit from this global citizenship that we are promoting. And you know, citizenship is a very arbitrary thing. It's a very discriminating thing. If you're born in the wrong country at the wrong time, it's really tough. So the same thing that what we're doing to help people being more mobile, having plan B, being you know, more active internationally, having access, mobility, security, also the same thing keeps people where they are. You know, we have divided the world into nation states and nation states, they have citizenship. Citizenship largely defines, you know, who you are and what you're able to do or not to do. And I'm interested in that a lot and to see how we can help people who are caught by the wrong citizenship, by conflict that cannot leave, that have a really serious um, hardship based on their citizenship and their country that maybe currently is not a good place to live, you know, and how we can find a way, and that's really the, what fascinates, fascinates me a lot, how we can find a way to see that all people have the possibility to live in security and dignity, either where they are or in a country of their choice. And so hopefully we can do more of that as a firm, but also personally, if you ask me, that's where I see myself in five years, probably doing more of that. 
um, and hopefully see the, the industry grow uh, more and, and in a good way and, and in, you know, making this concept uh, a very well accepted and, and you know, beneficial concept that people also start to see all the benefits because there's a lot of benefits, not only for the people who go into these programs, but also for the countries. Um, that offer this. If they do this properly, the economic effects are really significant and that is what also interests me fundamentally. And this is, you know, from an academic and policy point of view, this is really fascinating stuff.